Alrighty, here we go. Let's keep going on here in the breaking news today. Stefan Diggs and the Bills have agreed to a four-year, $104 million contract extension with $70 million guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. That's how you do it, Buffalo. Secure your great players, your great receivers, your quarterback's favorite weapon for years to come. That's how you do it, Cowboys. That's how you do it, Packers. Are you listening? Devontae Adams, y'all didn't want to pay him. Y'all stuck him with the franchise tag. And then when he said, hey, I'm not playing under this. What are you, crazy? You try to, you know, pay him after that. He said, no, no, no. the trust, the disrespect is already shown. I'm out of here. And then for the Cowboys, and we're going to talk about the Cowboys in a little bit, this is what you do. You pay your receivers that help out your quarterback. Obviously, um, Josh Allen was never good until Stephon Diggs got here. Now, uh, does that tell the entire picture? Maybe, but also maybe not. We just don't know. We have not seen Josh Allen be good without Stephon Diggs. It's just unfortunate we haven't seen it. Now, we can assume, you know, he could be good without Stephon Diggs. Absolutely, we can assume that. We just haven't seen it, so we can't say it's 100% guaranteed fact. But we do see the increase in offense when Stephon Diggs is out on there on the field. So that's what you do. You go out and pay. You pay when you need to. And the Bills truly needed to pay Stephon Diggs because him and Josh Allen, they got it made, folks. They get it done together like Dak Prescott and Amari Cooper. But they let Amari Cooper walk. They let him walk. For what reason? Let me go to this story now. Let me bring up this story now since we're talking about it. Um, let me bring it up. Here we go. Hang on. Where is it? Here we go. The Cowboys. The Cowboys were interested in trading for Dolphins wide receiver Devontae Parker before he ultimately ended up in New England. Dallas is in the wide receiver market. Now, why would be they be in the wide receiver market? We just saw them get rid of Amari Cooper. And then what did Jerry Jones say when he got rid of Amari Cooper? They thought that money could be better allocated somewhere else. But now here they are still in the market for a wide receiver. So why not just pay Amari Cooper, who has a proven track, record with Dak Prescott like Stephon Diggs has a proven track record with Josh Allen why would you get rid of Amari Cooper if you are still looking for a wide receiver a big tall what is Devontae Parker folks 6'3 what's Amari Cooper what 6'2 6'3 is he even 6'4 I mean a big tall wide receiver so they're in the big tall wide receiver market they're not in the gadget player market they're not in kind of a Debo Samuel market gadget kind of wide back no 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 Devontae Parker tall number one option go up and get it receiver like Amari Cooper so what are we doing I I've lost all I, I I guess I never even I never thought of it so I guess I I guess I can't say it but I was never on with Jerry Jones I never gave it any thought that Jerry Jones had this much I know y'all said it all the time. I just never believed it. But I, I guess now I am finally believing it. Because now I am finally seeing it how y'all saw it. Jerry Jones is hurting this Cowboys team. Jerry Jones may be the worst owner in all of football, folks. And now it's finally, I've finally seen the light, folks. And I'm late on this. I know I'm late on this. Absolutely. Y'all, y'all been saying this for years. In years, like decades. Almost decades. On the Jerry Jones ruining this Cowboys team. And I guess it's always just kind of been the narrative that I never kind of really thought about it it's always kind of just been in the zeitgeist sports world yeah jerry jones is an awful owner he's ruining this team and i once again i never questioned it because in the zeitgeist it's something that we, uh, we all just kind of you know walk around and say and be like yeah we all agree on this collectively once again why we are having quarterbacks up for recertifications so we don't get this whole you know me mindlessly walking around for the past 10 years just kind of not even thinking about jerry jones and how much he's truly hurting this cowboys team i mean i, I should have truly woken up last year when it was mike mccarthy the head coach day one game one that's when I truly should have woken up and be like, wow, but they got me. They got their hooks in me because they were, you know, on hard knocks. They were in the limelight, the spotlight, and there was entertainment, and I was getting confused with the entertainment side instead of the actual competition side of hard knocks. So once again, the propaganda, the, uh, the programs got me, folks. I got swindled a little bit, not on Mike McCarthy, but overall just the lights and the camera. 
camera and the entertainment and the flashiness that is Hard Knocks. Got caught up in that. But uh, Jerry Jones, Jerry Jones, trash, holding this team back, making all these wrong mistakes, doesn't know who to pay, can't evaluate talent, paid Zeke when you should have paid Dak and then had to pay Dak anyway, and now Zeke's not doing anything for the last two seasons and you've got all this money tied up in him, so you decide to let Amari Cooper go, even though Amari Cooper's been giving us so much more consistent, better production than Zeke has over the last three years. And then you couple that with, you know, the the Mike McCarthy hire and then bringing in Sch Brian Schottenheimer to do an offense, just to be an assistant coach for the offense and defensive coordinators. Too many hands in the kitchen here. These are all good ideas by Jerry Jones. That's why they happen because Jerry Jones runs this team. He does it all. That's why you don't. That's why you have Mike McCarthy as a head coach because he you can control him easily. What is Mike 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 Mike, 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 Mike McCarthy is not standing up to anybody, folks. We see that. You literally watch him on the sideline and you know what he is. We know it. Well, we know the guy he is, folks. We all know the person Mike McCarthy is. He's not uh, defending any of his players, okay? He's not standing up to Jerry Jones. We saw that in Hard Knocks. We saw that. Hey, Mike, uh, where's Dak Prescott? <laughs> Why is he not out on the field? Oh, he's inside rehabbing. No, no, no. I want him out on the field. I want him, you know, a part of the team. I want him out here so everybody sees him and all that. And then what happened the next day? Dak Prescott's out on the field. We know Mike McCarthy has no control over this team. It's all Jerry Jones. I'm on it now. And what have we been saying all offseason long? Three wins. Three and 14. And I believe, folks, I believe that the win totals are now bettable. So let's take, should we, should we fancy this a little bit? Should we go into DraftKings and see what the odds are and the win totals are for the Cowboys this season? Because whatever it is, I'm betting the under. Because I know it's not three. Vegas isn't going to be that disrespectful. If it's my sports book, I have the Cowboys win total at five and I still bet the under. But that's just it takes by fan sports book coming um coming any didn't uh, any minute now we still got to get approval from New York State but it's coming soon folks be on the lookout um so let's take a little quick look I'm gonna assume they're gonna put it at like nine nine because once again everybody's on the Cowboys for some I don't understand they've gotten rid of all their good pieces and uh, people are still kind of going to bat for the Cowboys. Can we be done with that, please? <laughs> I'm telling you, they will not win more than three games next season. I will put the show on the line for that. I don't care. I will make the bet right now. Cowboys do not win. I'll go like four. Give me, give me, I, if I'm going to go that low, I like three. But give me a little wiggle room, four. I just need one extra game wiggle room. I won't go crazy like five or six games. Four. I'm going to set the bar at four. I got them predicted at three wins, but maybe, you know, one more win goes crazy so they get four. They will not win more than four games next season, folks. They won't. They won't. And I will bet the show on that. But let's see what Vegas puts the win total at because immediately I will be putting $10,000 on the under. Whatever it is, 5, 8, 9, 10. If it's 11, so help me goodness, I will put $1 million on that under. Are you kidding me? Here we go. Team Futures. We get win totals. Oh, come on. Y'all got to put win totals up. Where are these win totals? I know they're floating around. I've seen some other teams win totals already. Don't tell me this. DraftKings isn't going to play game right now. I got to go to another sports book. Does, it, does another sport? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I was bugging. Bugging. Here it is. All righty. Here we go. Win totals, folks. Win totals. Regular season wins. What do we got with the Cowboys? Go ahead and take your guess. I'm going to guess that they're going to put it at... Huh, what did they do last year? What did they do last year? Did they get 10 wins last year? 11? Um, 2020. Let me see what they did last year before we make our official prediction, what they're going to set the line at. We say that they are going to win only three or four games. They went 12 and five. So yeah, they're probably going to put this win total at like 10, 10 and a half at that, uh, half, half, uh, half a point hook. So I'm going to say that Vegas is putting it at 10 and a half wins for the Cowboys, which is going to be easy money. folks. It's going to be so easy money. Here we go. Cowboys win totals. Cowboys win totals. Here we go. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Exactly. Under. Under. Are you stupid? Are you?
y'all crazy? Under! They're winning three games this season! Under 10 and a half! 10 and a half! Are you crazy? Now, shout out to y'all, because y'all are seeing it right here. Y'all are betting the under because it's at minus 115. So y'all know. See, y'all are y'all are smarter than sometimes we give a we give you credit for. Sometimes, sometimes, folks. Let's not go overboard. But yeah, y'all got it here. Under 10 and a half. Well done. Well done. Now keep hammering this. I want y'all to hammer the under 10 and a half so much that it goes to nine. I want this at the start of the season to be win totals at nine. I want this to be bet down. And I don't even think you can bet these down. I think these are firm, but I want y'all to bet this so much that they that under 10.5 is at like minus 400 odds. I want y'all to force Vegas to keep changing this number lower and lower and lower and lower and lower till we get to five. I want this to be five win total, folks. Yes? Don't disappoint me, folks. Keep betting this. Yes, well done. Well done to y'all. So, Cowboys are not winning this season, folks. I don't know who y'all are looking at. I don't know who y'all are listening to. Obviously, clearly not us for some reason. We don't understand. We never understand why y'all don't listen to us. But, you know, we digress on that. But I, I don't know who y'all are listening to that y'all are getting into the Cowboys this season. They will be so abysmally bad, folks. And look at the division. They won't even be good in their own division. We got Carson Wentz. The Washington team may be better than the Cowboys. Daniel Jones, who's shown us nothing. The man literally, honestly, folks, I kind of, you know, I want to go to bat for Daniel Jones. But honestly, what has he shown us? He's shown us nothing. I don't think we could take into account anything this man has done in his first four years. I honestly don't think we could take anything. Maybe his athleticism is the only thing that we could take into account. But the man has been working with nothing. The man has not been in a meaningful game ever in his career. Week one. Week one's the only meaningful game Daniel Jones has ever played in. So I don't know if we can even say Daniel Jones is good or bad. Because I don't even know if we have any real information on the man in the league. So we get Carson Wentz, who we all know, folks. We won't go on our 10-minute Carson Wentz rant, okay? Y'all know we can't. We won't. Daniel Jones, we don't even know what the hell the man is. Eagles are good. Eagles are just good on their own. So yeah, Bills will not win, or uh, uh, Cowboys will not win this division. The Cowboys are going to be absolutely abysmal, and there's no way they're winning more than ten and a half games. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Unbelievable. I'm betting that right now. I'm dropping 10 grand. I will drop 10 grand on the Cowboys winning under ten and a half games. That is the easiest bet of the entire season, folks. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, Cowboys, they're in a wide receiver market. If only they had a great number one, A1, tier one wide receiver on their roster before this offseason. If only. If only. Good luck, Cowboys, because you're going you're gonna to need it. Truly. You're going to need it. Get Jerry Jones out of there. Force him to sell the team. Jeez. Cowboys are not going to be good, folks. Oh, my goodness. They're not going to be good. All right. Let's.